I create a new plus project copy date command and uh, paste it inside your terminal to install the ZioCloud package by uh, using a uh, ZioCloud SDK. So our uh, package is successfully installed. And that you need to go to your subspect uh, that event file and you can see that uh, the package is successfully installed. By uh, using the Cloud SDK we need to complete our setup. Without this setup our uh, app will not work so first we need to create uh, a pro product file. So uh, create that file and uh, follow me as I write it here. So please write inside your product file. The same text is I write it here. So we are done. Our program file is complete. So after that, go to the build.gradle file and set a main SDK version to 21 and compile SDK to 34. Inside your de uh, dependency, just paste these two lines. You can write it the same uh, text as I write it here. After that, we just need to write uh, the program file and uh, after that, our setup will be finished and we will start and begin our implementation for using the Cloud live streaming app. So we are done. The setup is completed. And, uh, make sure you change this setup. After that, just run, uh, just terminate your app and rerun it, and it will run without any bugs. And make sure your internet connectivity is fast too. So. It will take short time and it will run without any bugs. So just wait for running for it. So our project is run uh, uh, successfully. Now let's code for the Zioloud live streaming app. First we need to create a simple UI. So just follow me or uh, ignore that part. If you are you can so just create a simple UI and uh, the app of live streaming.
Now here we will use the, the streaming uh, package uh, so just write it here and it require app id app sign user id and uh, username and live id and config so just provide these uh, required properties to the Zico UI rebuilt live streaming uh, widget so when the user tap on the start live so it will navigate to and the live streaming will start so we will uh, take it, um, these two strings as uh, required and we will use it uh, we had inside our Zico cloud use it to and we will pass it from here okay so this is done and so now we need uh, app id and sign app sign for that uh, we need to create a zero cloud account uh, which will give us uh, these uh, so just go to the browser and uh, type zero cloud so if you don't have an account first create your account and start building click on start building after that create uh, your project click on that and click on live streaming next uh, and write it right here your project name so i just write uh, flutter project uh, flutter live stream or a simple live stream if okay so here you can see multiple options so we will use the flutter option and start a system SDK. so our project is uh, creating it will take a short time ok it is done start building your app and just restart your table control plus r I restart my tab and now you can see that we can use our live stream tutorial project here you can see that it provides uh, app id and app sign so here you will use the app id and app sign so just copy that uh, app sign okay i use my own uh, app sign and here you just need to implement and write these permissions please look at these permission and write it here after the main test line so just hard reload your app It, live ID you just need to provide a simple text it here so I just write a test live ID you can write here anything so we will provide a user ID any user ID you can provide here any text you can provide here has user ID So you can see that it it is working, but uh, the permission is not allowed yet. Uh, so 
you just need to terminate your app and rerun it again I rerun it again I terminated my app and rerun it uh, so it will work now so if the use if user did not provide anything uh, inside the text field so it will not navigate to the next live streaming app it is required I take uh, I sit uh, here it required so without writing uh, inside the uh, text field it will not navigate uh, to the next live streaming screen so it will just print uh, inside the console when the user uh, click on the start live button without uh, you can see that uh, it is print inside the console so now you will see that uh, it will display a permissions so you can see the permission I allowed the permission and it uh, works fine now so you can see the live streaming is started successfully ok now we will create an, uh, another button for uh, implementing audience to watch uh, the live stream of anyone So after that I will create uh, material, so just copy that material button and paste it here, start not start watch live, ok and here I will require another variable a bool type is it uh, host or not so start live uh, it will false it uh, and here it is true it mean that it is far true it will host And here I will provide the UI dot config dot audience. Audience means he will watch live a person. Thank you for watching.